good morning it's not morning anymore yes it is still morning hey y'all so today is today it's saturday uh what's today's date i don't know january 23rd or something i really don't know i think it might be the 23rd um hey y'all so my name is renisha welcome to renisha's space over here I let others write on the mic while I'm making social media. I pull up here. All I want to do is encourage you to be everything God's called you to be. Even others don't agree. I need to switch lanes. That's what I need to do. Is switch lanes. I want to talk to you all really quick. Ladies, this is for this is for any female who's just feeling like she's invisible right now. Like and nobody sees her. Or like nobody's paying her attention, sis. Let me tell you why. Child, I, these people get on my nerves. Let me tell you why you need to be on your P's and Q's at all times because you never know who is watching you. I'm going to tell you a story about a man named Jed. Not really. But I'm going to tell you a story about when I was in college. Y'all, I got road rage so bad. I promise y'all need to pray for me. Y'all ain't praying. Y'all are not praying. I need y'all to pray for me. Anyway, um, a story about when I was in college. So, this guy approached me, right? Really respectful, smooth. I don't think he follows my YouTube channel, so he shouldn't see this. But he was, he was, you know, I like him hood. I can't even lie. I'm like, Lord, you got to send me a perform the I like, I like manly men. Okay. So he was one of those. He approached me or whatever. So I'm listening to him talk and he's just telling me how he's been watching me on campus. When I tell you, I had never, I've never seen this dude. I never saw this dude on campus before. And he was very tall. If for nothing else, I should have seen him for his height. Very tall. I had never seen that man a day in my life until he approached me. This man knew my class schedule. Okay, he told me, yeah, at this time you go to this class, you do that. He had done research outside of school. Um, he was a boss. He had done research outside of school, knew where I used to hang out at the college I went to before I came to the current one. When I tell you he did his research, this dude had studied me. And I never saw him one time until he approached me. And I was thinking about that this morning. Not sure why, but I was thinking about that this morning. Well, I am sure. I feel like somebody needs to be encouraged because you think nobody sees me. And I was just telling somebody something on this week. You child, it, these people will make you cuss, Jesus. They'll make you cuss. I was just telling somebody, um, that was asking me some questions something on this week but yeah i just want to fully encourage you all you never know who is watching you this dude knew it was almost like i would pick at him and be like okay so you was low-key stalking me i think what made me he wasn't a stalker he just studied and after i got to know him i just realized his brain was different and then my first cousin knew him so I'm like, well, if he ever tries anything crazy, I'ma just tell him. But um, yeah, the stuff he knew about me was crazy to say. I never saw him. He's like, yeah, I used to. I watched you, and and what was what threw me off was he said he was intimidated. I was like, well, why didn't you ever say anything? He was like, you're you intimidate men, like. I was like, but I'm not mean. He was like, no, it's not that. But the way you carry yourself, he was like, I knew I couldn't come at you any kind of way. Like, I can't remember if he said anything about other dudes that tried to approach me or what. But he was like, I knew I couldn't come at you any kind of way. So that's how I, that's why I had to study you or whatever. So yeah, he did his homework. So don't think because you out here and we quarantining. First of all, all of us not even quarantining. At this point, I don't know what's happening. But with whatever's happening. 
don't think, oh, I'm invisible. Nobody's paying me any attention. It can be on social media. It can be off social media. It can be grocery store, the mall, your workplace. Some of y'all still going to church. Whatever. You don't know. You do not know, sis. Somebody could be watching your videos or looking at your encouraging posts, trying to figure out when they're going to slide in those DMs. You do not know, honey. So I need you to be fully encouraged, okay? Okay. So y'all pray for me. I don't even know what I want prayer for, so I guess I'm good. So y'all just pray. I don't know what to ask for prayer for. You know, it's good to be in that place. When you don't even know. Mm. I guess the Lord's been faithful. I'm trying to drink my morning tea on the empty stomach before I eat. Although it's low-key 11 o'clock. I need to get back on my weight loss regimen. So, need to get back on my weight loss regimen, changing that up. So, yeah, this is probably going to be one of those chopping school videos. But, yeah, I just want you all to be fully encouraged. Why are you driving one mile per hour? you all to be fully encouraged okay don't worry about having thinking don't think you have to be extra that's what I should say don't think you have to do all of this extra stuff to put yourself out there um, I'm not saying how can I put this don't some people just do extra you do too much they just do too much like I see people all on social media all the time just doing too much and they feel like they have to do all of this in order for their husbands to find them you don't have to do all of that be present i'm not saying be absent i'm not saying don't show up i'm just saying don't think you gotta do all this extra stuff okay <laughs>